In this video, I'm going to share with you the eight principles that help me be a better musician. I will talk about things like practicing, motivation, and much more. Make sure you stick around to the end because I will share with you the one secret I learned in four years of music college. The first principle. Sometimes practicing less is more. How many hours did I practice not being concentrated at all? I've wasted so many hours I could have learned something. I was just playing without thinking and without listening to myself. If I could give my 19 year old self some advice I would tell him to just practice 3-4 to four hours a day but then be deadly focused. So don't make a mistake and practice 8 hours but without intent, without your brain because you could have learned the same in 3 hours. 2. If you're not yet studying music or you don't want to study music, the next step is for you. Try to get in contact with other musicians in your area. Most professional musicians won't have this problem because they are surrounded by musicians anyway. Having like-minded people who have the same goal, even if it's not studying music, will motivate you to practice more and you will learn things you aren't even aware of that are possible. Principle number three. If you get to know more musicians, obviously you can do chamber music together or you can just join your local orchestra. Playing together with other people is just something completely different. And it's great for your ears, because you do not just have to listen to yourself, but also others. And obviously it makes fun. Principle number four. One of the major problems our society is facing at the moment is of social media and phone addiction. And probably the worst thing you can do is to check your phone right after waking up. You mess up your entire day and you won't be able to concentrate on any difficult tasks like practicing afterwards. That's why you should cut it out before you have practiced your four hours. Principle number five. I cannot stress this out enough, and it's not very sexy, learn your theory. It has so many benefits, mainly understanding whatever piece you're playing better and learning it much faster. Having a good understanding of harmony and being able to read notes fast is such a game changer. I wasn't even aware of how good people can read notes before I started conducting and score reading. Principle number six. What I learned during the last years is that if you don't force yourself to be on track, you're going to slip so fast you will wonder, what the fuck happened to me? So please, if you don't feel motivated at a certain time in your life, keep pushing. I'm not one of those people who says that everything should be easy, I'm of the opposite and I think practicing is hard and it can be boring sometimes. If you let your habits slip once, I promise you it's a downward spiral, you do not add bad habits, you multiply them. So keep yourself on track. Principle number seven is something I personally like to do. Start practicing very shortly after waking up. If you've done one, one and a half hours at nine o'clock, nobody can take this from you. Eight. The last principle I want to talk about is the following one. If you do not apply to the Tchaikovsky competition, you won't ever win it. If you think you're too bad for the local orchestra in your hometown, you won't ever get in. This does not mean that you should apply to a major music competition if you just play for two weeks, but I think you get my point. Even if you would fail badly, you would have learned so much because the repertoire of auditions is mostly the same. And the more you play it in concerts and auditions, the better it will be. Before I share with you the secret principle that I learned in four years of music college, I just wanted to mention that I have a newsletter now, where I share stuff about music, musings from my day-to-day -day life and much more. So please go subscribe, I'm gonna link it down in the description box. Another secret principle. Just practicing a lot won't make you the best musician. Sure, practicing a lot is great and working hard is great, but if your personality lacks in every other aspect of your life, it's worthless. If you're not confident enough to go on stage, you're going to have a bloody miserable time. I myself, I work quite a lot. Why? I'm not sure. Existential dreads, not wanting to deal with other problems like my social life, or relationships or because of fear, it's easier to practice the whole day and not face other problems. So don't sacrifice your whole life for mediocre career music. And also, there are other important things compared to being the best on your instrument. If you don't know anybody in the industry, how do you think you will get a job? There is no application for something like a concert pianist, you can't just apply to something. And that's why you absolutely have to watch this video right here where I explain how to get into music university but what I explain is basically the same for getting a job as a musician. 